prototype time uh, we're getting asked more and more to do the p38 as they're known as short nose diffs otherwise known as wolf diffs which are fitted to the rear of TD5 110s uh, these are very different to the uh, normal long nose diff the short nose diff has a completely different PCD here where the bolts fit into the axle casing this is a different size the pinion is significantly shorter than a long nose casing as you'll see in the other video if you look for it on our website um, here we know that uh, on some the wonderful Land Rover harmonic balancer fits which is a frigging great lump of steel to stop vibrations so we're going to build this up as our prototype peg casing this should be able to be seen at Donington uh, 18th of February 2017 because if you see this video we've been successful um, if we're not successful uh, this video will go in the bin um, so here we go we'll start from sometime later with the angle grinder we've got a first of the prototype plates which we've ground down to make a better shape to fit the uh, patterning um, we just linched it off and made it tidy and then this plate is going to fit in there as the first piece we've got central mark these holes here aren't actually central to the center here this is where here and here this is where the uh, we think the holes are going to be for the pegs to go through somewhere here this is a piece of 12 mil plate we're going to TIG weld this into position and then we're going to put a second piece of 12 mil plate on top so that will give you 24 mil of plate plus whatever the thickness of this is which we haven't actually measured yet um, but I think it's probably like the other it's probably about five six seven mil so you'll be looking at a near 30 mil um, uh, locking for the peg bolt to okay various markings later we've got the uh, prototype first plate in place these here will be the holes when they uh, are drilled and tapped out uh, this here is the center line center line there center line there um, it's got a little gap at the front which we'll TIG up uh, we'll TIG up the sides and the back um, this will be this will be filled up with our uh, normal way of welding uh, leaving a little gap at the back here and then we backfill it with a metal replacement resin to take any air pockets uh, or uh, porous holes out of the equations. So here we are with the uh, base plate uh, welded on. The heat coming off thing, this uh, casing now is so intense. I think it's uh, mucking up the camera's ability to actually uh, see what's going on. But we've welded it on all three sides and uh, that's seam welded and left at the back for our filler to go in, uh, but pretty chuffed with that. Um, completely different grade of uh, casting to weld up, bear in mind, we're welding S275 mild hot rod steel to a uh, cast steel casing. Um, so there's a lot of preheating gone onto this and it's lovely and toasty warm in our workshop. So we're now gonna put the second plate on. Uh, this is our prototype second plate. Uh, we've uh, linished it quite heavily uh, for a better fit so I can get the TIG torch in. And this is gonna be fitted onto here and TIGged up. So here's a standard uh, four pin uh, P38 center. This here, uh, we're gonna machine back because there's not enough room here to get a fossil bronze pad on. And we're probably gonna take it back to this, uh, this forging uh, strengthening part here. Uh, so here's one of our fossil bronze pad that we use on the long nose. Because it shares virtually the same crown wheel, uh, the crown wheel's a little bit thinner on a P38 and that's one of the weak spots. Um, it's not really very good if we put it up here. It hasn't really got much purchase. So we thought if we go back to there, we're gonna have 100% coverage uh, on, because the crown wheel's on the back of here. So you've got this as a strengthener and then a fossil bronze pad on top of that. So let's uh, machine it. just machined this right back to there we don't know if it's going to be enough or not we've also looked at ARBs and also um, Ashcroft ATBs we reckon that we can machine both of those as well looking hopeful so here's the turning down of the four pin center which gives the pad 100% clamping we think we've got the bolts in the right place 
uh, moving onwards. Unfortunately now things are going wrong because we've just had a dir moment which is that uh, these holes here are on our jig for a long nose casing, uh, the gap here is for a long nose casing and a short nose casing isn't going to fit that. So now we need to find some nice big lumps of plate and hand make a new jig. Meanwhile the donkey saw is brought back into action to saw off a lump that's going to go in the nose of the P38 diff because that's a different size pinion seal so to lock it into the jig we need to machine up a uh, locking collar for the front of the nose of the diff. Oh deep job. So the cunning plan is going to be drilling through the 12mm plate upright to take the little prongs that these P38 divs have and that will be the locking into the plate and then we can bolt it together and if you're wondering what the noise was uh, we're still chomping our way through a bit of solid plate it's lovely the bits I've got in the workshop a little bit of uh, nose turning we're going to face this off so it's flat when we weld it against the nose plate jig taking place we've cut some 15mm uh, plate with the plasma um, we've made the jig with some nice braces at the back uh, I don't think that's going to fall apart uh, that's bolted on, that's smoke coming off the welds, that hurt, and we'll settle for that as being nice and level. So now we've got to machine down the nose cone for the front to hold that into position. So we've machined the nose which is now being welded on and we're just drilling the locating holes to the two plates and then we'll have a jig with a bit of luck. So, some welding later, we have our beefed up uh, carrier jig for P38. We're now going to put the prototype in there and see if it all fits. So, pretty much all day, we haven't even finished yet, but we have got the, uh, oh the weld is switched off, we have got the, uh, the jig made, and the diff is in the jig, and we're now going to fill it, back fill it with our resin and leave it, and then we'll carry on next week with the... Uh, uh, milling and drilling and tapping and we'll see how we go from there P38 diff coming along Okey cokey time we've got the uh, prototype now in the milling machine we're going to put the face cut across it and get it all uh, get it all leveled out and we'll see what uh, we'll see what comes out of a bit of machining here we go pump on table on the machine finish appearing. Yippee doo! So far so good. Uh, finished uh, top plate and um, that really is as smooth as it looks uh, we need to drill a couple of holes in now and a couple of holes later and we're ready to tap it out and then we're dancing we got the measurements right for the prototype and welcome back to the very professional hugely expensive uh, auto tapping uh, unit and the uh, health and safety uh, I haven't welded a loop on to hold it in place jobby so uh, now we're going to uh, tap the holes out and uh, see where we go from there. Down we go. Up we go. Fantastic. 
Well, we'll take a gamble. We've stamped it casing number one. Uh, there we have our two bits of plate, TIG welded in, uh, power machine flat and then uh, tapped M16 by two, uh, blown off and now we've just got to take it out of the vise, give it a clean and see if our calculations are right and if it all fits together. But so far, quite chuffed. Back in a while. Well now, well now, well now, now, well, well now, here are the two doggy bolts uh, going through the casing on the P38 prototype from the other side. Um, they'd obviously normally have nylocks on, I've just wound them in. Um, and then what I got is one of our standard CNC machine fossil bronze pads which I've put engineers blue all over and that's going to fit onto the pegs down there and hopefully stay put. And then what I've got to do is take that centre, I've taken the crown wheel off just because it's a bit easier to manhandle, um, and see if we have any cl And the answer is yes. Um, we don't have to worry about this side. This side's where the crown wheel's going, so that's going to fit. We have clearance here, um, and to be honest, when we adjust the diff, it's going to go that way, which is moving against the pad, which you can't really see, but it's just down there at the very base there. Um, and we've got enough clearance. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jiggle it like that and then see what we have in the way of a pattern. There's the pattern. So we've got pretty much the, um, this, this is where it's come on the top of the uh, casing and it's not even touching there. And we've got a good clean sweep there. So that pad is covering that area, which is absolutely diggity boo. So the answer is yes, we can now, sir, peg your P38 short nose diff we can do it with an ATB from Ashcroft's we can do it with an ARB but we'll have to machine it and we can do it with an ash locker but we'll have to machine it because of this bit here as you saw earlier in the video but it can be done so all that remains now is to build this up yippee do and there we go uh, one P38 prototype casing we've painted it up we're going to take this to Donington for the 19th of February 2017 and we're going to have this uh, all built up with a four pin centre uh, ready for someone to buy um, and there's the pegging system and we've left it unpainted so people can have a look and see if they think we've made a nice job of it um, still not sure if this uh, little bit here is still going to have room for the uh, harmonic dampener to be fitted but from what I gather talking to people that own these one of the first things they do is throw those away so uh, two coats of primer, three coats of top coat and we're ready to build it up into the first ever pegged P38 short nose casing. Bye for now, hope you found this of interest. Pause.